Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelisa and on this channel we read, discuss, and obsess over books together. And today I'm going to be doing basically my March wrap up and April TBR in one. So it's going to be for two reasons. One, I didn't read a lot of books in March so the wrap up wouldn't be very long. And two, I'm also in the middle of a lot of books and just really want to like mood read this month and not really do like someone else choose my TBR. Like I just want to choose books I feel like reading this month. So I decided to just do it all together because a lot of the books I'm choosing are going to be like because I'm also in the middle of them. So yeah. Anyway, we're going to get into it. I'm just going to start off by doing my story graph statistics for March. So like I said, I didn't read a lot of books. I only ended up reading six books, but it was a total of 2,361 pages. So for my moods, they're mostly tense. <laughs> followed by mysterious, lighthearted, funny, emotional, and dark. And then the next ones were sad, reflective, hopeful, and adventurous. All of them were fiction this month. I didn't read any nonfiction. And for genres, I have three romance, three contemporary, two thriller, one LGBTQ, one mystery, one literary, and one historical. And my average star rating this month was 3.83 stars. So I think I was just kind of like in a slump this month and read some books that I didn't really enjoy. So it took me a really long time to finish them and to want to read them. So I'll just like like get into that now. The first book that I finished this month, I actually really enjoyed it. If I could get it out, oh my god. The first book I finished was The True Love Experiment by Christina Lawrence, part of this vlog that I was doing and I really did like this. I rated it 4.75 stars. I thought it was so so sweet. I feel like it was so long ago when I read this. It was literally just a month ago but basically this is about Fizzy and she's a side character in the soulmate equation which is also very good by christina lauren the same authors and so i wanted to pick this up because i loved fizzy as a side character and i remember when i was reading this just feeling so empowered and like i just loved fizzy like she is such an amazing character she's a romance author and she also kind of like she likes to challenge what people typically say about romance authors so yeah i just i loved this book so much i loved her as a character i loved the romance it was adorable so after that i ended up reading once more with feeling by Alyssa assessment and this was a start of a reading vlog that I was doing and I did not like it at all I rated it one star I don't think I've ever rated a book one star before first of all I wasn't really interested in the plot I didn't really enjoy it someone described it like camp rock for adults and that's basically what it felt like but also just the entire trope and like how the couple meets doesn't make me want to root for them so I just like it was just a no for me and yeah I, I don't know. I read this for giving authors a second chance because I read Funny You Should Ask by the same author and I didn't love that either. So this ended up just disappointing me more and I don't know. Anyway, also in that video, I ended up reading The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley and I did enjoy this one. I rated this 3.5 stars. It was fun. At first I found it kind of slow. I thought it was better than The Guest List, which is the first book by Lucy Foley that I read. And I don't know. I would recommend it if you're into like the like multiple POV, not like who done it, is they are they missing? Are they not? Like what's going on? And also like very complex characters. Like I think that the characters, there's just like a lot going on. And at some point I kind of just got lost. But I did think it was really interesting, the entire concept was so cool. The last book that I read for that video was Scarred by Emily McIntyre. I read Hooked and didn't really love it, but Scarred... <sighs> I loved this so much. I rated it 4.75 stars. It wasn't a five star, but it was so, so, so close. And I don't remember, I think there was just a scene that like I didn't like know to me, but I loved most of this book and I would read it like a million times over and I'm definitely gonna continue to read Emily McIntyre's books. I'm glad that I gave her a second chance for sure. If you wanna go watch that reading vlog, it will be linked in the description and like somewhere on the screen. So then for book club <laughs> that month, um, the first book club that I'm in read First Lie Wins by Ashley Elston. I rated this four stars. I actually really like this. I heard a lot of good things about it and I think the, the reason I rated it four stars because at the beginning I was really confused. I didn't really know what was going on and I just couldn't get into it because it wasn't interesting me. And then as things started to pick up, I was like, oh, okay, this is intriguing. And I just thought the concept was very interesting. I would read another one from this author and I've just, I've never read a book like this before. So I thought that the entire like concept was just super 
super super cool. All right the last book that I read this month for some reason I actually can't find it right now. It's probably downstairs somewhere. I think I was planning on annotating it based off of highlights that I made in the Kindle app but I decided to reread The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. A it was for a book club at work that month so I reread it and I did give it five stars again. I loved it so much. I love it was my first Taylor Jenkins read book that I ever read and it kind of just started this like adventure into her world and her writing and I love her writing so much and the meaning behind the words that she says and just the stories that she writes I think are so important and I just I love The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo so much and it was so much fun to talk about it with people at work in our book club and see different perspectives and what other people thought about it. So yeah. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to quickly go into kind of like books that I'm in the middle of slash what my April TBR is going to be. So first of all, if you follow me on Goodreads, I've been doing a reread of this for like forever. I'm almost halfway through, so I do want to finish this up in the month of April, and I've been annotating like throughout. You probably can't see much because my highlighter is like very, very light, and I don't annotate too much. Like there's just spots here and there that I annotate like here is kind of like a lot but you can really see it anyway so I do want to finish this on the same kind of train is the assassin's blade so I just finished rereading it like yesterday and it is like a few days into April when you're getting this video so I've already read this this will be in my April wrap-up but with that for April I also want to read Queen of Shadows and I was reading this rereading it like skimming I reread it basically I reread all of it but when there were scenes that, like I remembered I kind of just read really fast but I was doing it in preparation for this so I'm really excited to continue this and finish the mass verse I'm also in the middle of Ricochet I've been loving this I'm almost done it and I'm probably gonna finish it tonight after I finish filming and editing this video so there's Ricochet as well and then I'm also in the middle of Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings so I do want to finish this this month as well I'm also in the middle of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets so I want to finish this this month as well now besides those books I'm in the middle of other books I want to read I'm literally just gonna pick off of my TBR cart here based off of how I'm feeling and just like what I feel like reading even just like as I've been talking I'm eyeing these I'm eyeing these two specifically yours truly by Abby Jimenez I think I saw the audiobook come up on my Libby recently so I want to read that one and betting on you by Lynn Painter because I'm just really freaking excited to read this I've been wanting to read it since it came out and I just kind of haven't made time for it so I do want to read these two I think I'm good on romance like I feel like that's a lot of romance already so I don't need like more romance if I have time I might pick up flawless by Elsie silver we will see in terms of like mystery thrillers I would really love to get to Anna O I keep seeing the audiobook popping up on my Libby and I've heard that it's very similar to like Gillian Flynn Alex Michaelides type of psychological thriller and the synopsis sounds kind of like the silent patient but instead she's like sleep she's like asleep so I think this would be really cool to read with that there's like five books I'm in the middle of and then three books that I'm just adding to my TBR there are some books that were on my March TBR that I'm going to bring over. So Anxious People by Frederick Backman I'm going to bring over. This was one of the book club picks at work and it didn't end up winning but I really do want to read it and it's a very kind of like cute little short book. So this is kind of about um, there's like an open house going on and it ends up being like a hostage situation but the person that is taking all those people hostage is like the most anxious person ever and all the people he's taking hostage are like not people that like you want to take for hostage I think like they have really big personalities and yeah so anyway I thought it'd be cool to read this Ooh, I also saw the Ballad of Songbirds and Stinks come up on Libby so I'm gonna try and read this this month I think this is another March TBR that's coming over to April this is the prequel to the Hunger Games in case you didn't know I watched the movie and I really loved it so I really want to read the book you know what I might actually continue the Caraval series this month and read Legendary I've been wanting to get back into this world and just like continue it so I can start the Once Upon a Broken Heart series so yeah this is the second book in the Caraval series I read the first one a few months ago and I was planning on doing like a series reading vlog for it but that didn't end up happening so I'm probably not gonna record this or if I do it's just gonna be in like a generic kind of reading vlog but yeah so I think I'm gonna put this on my TBR and try to read this this month because I am 
kind of in the mood for it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, Bridgerton is coming back soon. So I think I'm gonna put the third Bridgerton novel on my TBR. Um, this is not the one that the season's gonna be based off of, but if I read this one, then I can probably read the next one in May when the season's out, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna put Bridgerton as well. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new books, and then five books that we're in the middle of. I feel like that's good. I don't wanna overwhelm myself because I am in the middle of like three other books that I didn't even mention that I'm gonna just put off later to finish. But yeah, so I feel like this is a good amount of books, and then I always have the option of picking up other ones if I want to or feel like it. So yeah, okay, the final TBR is Bridgerton, an offer from A Gentleman by Julia Quinn, Legendary, the second Caraval book by Stephanie Garber, Battle of Songbirds and Snakes, the Hunger Games trilogy like prequel by Suzanne Collins, Anxious People by Frederick Backman, Anna O by Matthew Blake, Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez, Betting on You by Lynn Painter. I want to finish the second Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, finish up Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings, Ricochet by Krista and Becca Ritchie, Queen of Shadows, and A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. I'm very happy about this TBR. I think it's gonna go great. I think it's gonna be a great reading month, a quality reading month. Um, I don't think that like quantity really matters in reading, but for me, it's like I want to just read good books, and I feel like I didn't, I didn't have the best experience last month, and that's why it took me a lot longer to read. So I feel like if I'm reading books that I know I'm gonna enjoy, then we're gonna get somewhere. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you've read any of these books or what your thoughts were, what you read in the month of March, what you're planning on reading in April. If you don't do TBR, just let me know what you're reading right now. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I hope to see you in the next video.